वेलकम बैक टू इंटरव्यू प्रिपरेशन सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द एडवांस इक्वल इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन विच इज बेस्ड ऑन द स्टोर प्रोसीजर ट्रांजेक्शन मैनेजमेंट एंड द एक्सेप्शनल हैंडलिंग एंड दिस इज अ वेरी लिटिल बिट ट्रिकी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन एंड दिस इज अ रियल टाइम यूज केसेस एज वेल सो दिस क्वेश्चन इज बेसिकली वन ऑफ माई लर्नर आस्क ऑन दी वीडियो कमेंट सो आई टेकन फ्रॉम माई वीडियो कमेंट इफ यू हैव इफ यू ऑल्सो हैव एनी क्वेश्चन इफ यू ऑल्सो फेसिंग एनी टाइप ऑफ दी डिफिकल्टी इन द रियल टाइम यू कैन पुट द क्वेश्चन ऑन दी वीडियो कमेंट डेफिनेटली आई विल टेक एंड आई विल प्रोवाइड यू एंसर बाई क्रिएटिंग द वीडियो टूटोरियल सो द क्वेश्चन इज हाउ वुड यू इम्प्लीमेंट ए ट्राई कैच फॉर मल्टीपल रैप स्टोर प्रोसीजर दैट आर माइग्रेटेड टू ए सिंगल स्टोर प्रोसीजर फॉर एग्जाम्पल द आइडिया इज दैट इज प्रीवियस स्टोर प्रोसीजर नीड टू रन सिक्वेंशली इज सेट हैज टू बी रोल बैक इफ एनी थिंग इज इन द क्यू क्वारी फेल ओके सो लेट अंडरस्टैंड द वाट एक्जैक्टली क्वेश्चन वी हैव सो सपोज आई हैव वन प्रॉक वन अपडेटिंग सम डेटा प्रॉक टू इज ऑल्सो अपडेटिंग सम डेटा and proc 3 is also updating some data uh, but uh, due to some uh, reason the proc 3 is occurred some error and all proc proc 1 proc 2 proc 3 are executing on daily basis through the job by using the one main store procedure and all these three procedure are falling in the main procedure and if any uh, error will be occurred in any procedure the data will be roll back in all the store procedure so how we can implement it so let's start with the real time okay uh, uh, real time code uh, how you can implement this type of the situation because uh, uh, this scenario uh, we always use in the real time when we working in the real time so that is the reason uh, always you will get this type of the question uh, in the interview so uh, let's jump to the uh, sql server management studio okay and uh, i'm creating um, one procedure uh, that is the proc1 and i'm up in proc1 i i'm updating dim customer so you can see we have uh, dim customer you can uh, take from the adventure work data warehouse uh, you can install this database and uh, i'm using for 100 1001 1002 n3 for the updating point of view and uh, the yearly income column i'm updating it so in the proc 1 i am creating the proc create procedure procedure name so i am giving the proc 1 uh, as begin and updating this table uh, where uh, yearly income is equal to uh, 10000 for 11000 customer key so for the first record uh, i am updating yearly income is equal to 10000 uh, same like i am creating proc 2 and proc 2 i am updating 20000 for 11001 customer key and same like proc 3 also i am using the uh, updating the yearly income is 30000 uh, for the uh, 11103 and proc 4 uh, i am creating uh, so i am raising the uh, basically error okay manually error okay so how you can create the manual error for the testing point of view so i am just selecting the one divided by 0 so one divided by 0 sql will throw an error and i am creating one main procedure okay so uh, this is main procedure is uh, proc main and all this three procedure all this four, four procedure i am basically calling in sequential order and this procedure i am putting on the begin try and begin transaction and if the no error will be occurred i am committing the transaction and printing that uh, script updated successfully and if any error will be occurred in any of the procedure they will uh, catch go to the catch block and we immediate roll back the transaction uh, if any other error will be occurred and we need to be print for the error number error severity error state error procedure error line error message so they will give the which error uh, what is the error number uh, what is what is the error state Uh, what is the which error uh, error will be come in which procedure because in the real time sometimes we calling more than 50 store procedure in one single store procedure uh, which line of the procedure we have the error 
and uh, what is exactly we have the error message and in case in case so uh, let me uh, first install all this procedure okay so once you install the uh, all the procedure then we need to be run the proc okay so you can see the procedure got installed and i am executing this procedure okay proc main okay so when you see when you execute the proc main there is no uh, result set and you will get error that is that this is the error uh, number this is the error severity this is the error state and which uh, procedure the error will become proc for the error will become an error line and divided by zero in counter this is the error message so uh, this is the answer of this question so uh, by using this uh, uh, method by using the sequential execution uh, the add uh, add the uh, rollback will be performed so you can see that go to the table uh, you can see the no data will be update but when you uh, but when you uh, uh, let me alter this procedure okay i'm just uh, altering the main procedure and proc4 we have the error and uh, i'm commenting the line of proc4 means there is no error so if there is no error will be there data will update uh, perfectly as per the described so you can see proc1 proc2 proc3 we have so proc1 we updating 10000 proc2 updating 20000 and uh, proc3 uh, we updating 30000 for 11003 okay so when you run this uh, main proc so now you can see uh, script updated successfully uh, there is no error will be occurred and if you run this code so you can see for uh, uh, first record 10,000 is updated, second record 20,000 is updated, and 11003 we put it so 30,000 got updated. So, uh, the answer for this question is basically we need to be use this uh, uh, method and you need to be uh, describe each and everything. Okay, so if you still have any question, if you have doubt, uh, you can uh, put the all the question in the uh, video comment. I'm definitely will take uh, uh, all the question. If you want to share the question, uh, I will provide the uh, mail ID. Uh, you can find the mail ID in video uh, description, and you can send the. You can email me. Uh, if you want to learn the complete SQL, uh, I'm providing the complete one-to-one uh, -one training. I'm providing the real-time interview preparation. I'm providing the uh, basically a job uh, support also. Like if you working, if you're not able to uh, work if you want to need some uh, help you need to if you want to need some support uh, definitely i will provide it so you can contact me uh, all the detail i given in the video uh, description so if you still have question doubt you can put the question uh, uh, question on the uh, video comment so thank you so much for the watching complete this video uh, i will meet again in next one thank you